Hello everyone, this is the Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for joining me here today on my channel. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at all signs how your person is feeling. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link to my official IG is below. And as always, not each and every person watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. We're gonna start with the sign of Aries. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Aries. How does this person that Aries thinks about feel about Aries? How does this person feel about the sign of Aries, please? How does this person feel about the sign of Aries? How does this person feel about Aries, please? How does this person feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? You could be dealing with an Aquarius a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Spirit, tell me more about the sign of Aries. Tell me more, okay? The Ten of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Four of Cups, they're sad about something, Aries, okay? So we also have Fire energy here with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right, so I feel like there's this conversation that takes place between you and this person. Um, they go back and forth about it, right? Uh, they view you as their Ten of Cups, so that's their complete happiness. Uh, but in order to have this with you, they need to travel for some reason or um, they could be making their way to you. There is blockage here. So there's some sort of interference. All right. It could be a third party, it could be family members involved or something like that. But uh, I feel that you want victory with this person and they want the same thing with you. However... I just really feel that your person is depressed, okay, with the Five of Cups energy. And because of all the problems that this person has, you may not get the answer that you're looking for right away. I feel like if you work at it and if you work at this connection, there is potential but the person that you're dealing with needs to address their emotions first before you guys can move forward. All right, so that is Aries. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Gemini. How does this person that Gemini think about feel about the sign of Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? Spirit, how does this person feel about Gemini? You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, fire energy, and then the King of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person feels that they're going to lose you for some reason or that they're losing your attention here. Okay. They feel that there's some deception here, that you're not being honest about something. They also feel that you're more focused on your career than anything else. They think that you're being secretive here. They feel like there's some sort of mystery. This is someone that's at a distance from you, okay? And I don't feel like you guys are around each other all of the time. With the King of Cups energy, they want more of a commitment from you but they feel like they're losing your attention, Gemini, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so that's what I have for Gemini. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Taurus. Please talk to me about Taurus. How does this person that Taurus thinks about feel about Taurus? How does this person that... Taurus thinks about, feel about Taurus. How do they feel about Taurus, please? All right, we have the Six of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about how this person feels about Taurus. 
How does this person feel about Taurus, please? How do they feel about Taurus? Ooh. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person, again, there's a lot of confusion with them. They're still not sure which path to go on, which road to take when it comes to you. They could be viewing you as someone who is out of their reach right now. They feel like there's some sort of mystery to something that you have going on. They have a lot of love for you. This person, I believe, is in love with you with the Two of Cups present. I also feel like the feelings are mutual between you guys. However, this person that you're dealing with, they're having a hard time with the fact that either you withdrew from them or uh, they know that there's some sort of poor choice that they made here that's affecting the reason why you guys aren't coming together. Okay, um, they would like to have a balance with you with the temperance being present here. Uh, but again, they're just upset with you, but not really talking to you about why they are upset. They want victory with you, but they're not expressing themselves. Something is very challenging for them here with the Ten of Wands energy. But again, this person isn't talking to you about that. I just feel like they're watching you more than anything. So it's kind of like the Aries reading that I just did. All right, so that's what I have for Taurus. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Cancer. How does this person that Cancer think about, feel about Cancer? How does this person feel about cancer? Spirit, how does this person feel about the sign of cancer? All right, you could be dealing with another water sign, okay, with Pisces energy coming out here. Hmm. They feel that you are a bit selfish at this time, that you're not giving them enough attention that you're still focused on someone from your past here. They still want to fight for the connection, though, even though they know that there's someone else that you're looking at, okay? That's how they feel. Um, I don't feel like they share that with you, with the Page of Cups. They're going to still be there for you. I see them reaching out to you. I see them sending messages to you. They want this connection to go somewhere, but they feel like you're distracted with somebody else at this time. All right, so let's move on to Leo. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Leo. How does this person that Leo think of feel about Leo? How does this person feel about Leo? How does this person feel about the sign of Leo? How do they feel? The Ten of Cups in reverse. All right, tell me more about how this person feels. Okay, these want to come out. All right, the Lovers, the Death card, Justice, the Knight of Cups. All right, so they feel like you're arguing or starting problems with them that you're being confrontational. They feel that with the 10 of cups in reverse, that this is something they can no longer give to. It's like they're getting really tired with the lover's card. It's like they don't want to be a part of this anymore. They want to be away. We have the death card present so some of you guys are breaking up with someone or detaching or learning how to stay away. With the Justice card present, they feel that in order to find peace in their life, they have to move in another direction, okay, with this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, all right? So that's what I have for you, Leo. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Virgo. 
Talk to me about Virgo. How does this person that Virgo think about, feel about Virgo? How does this person that Virgo thinks about, feel about Virgo? This person is really emotional. They want you back in their life. They're thinking about everything they did to make you feel the way that you're feeling right now. And um, I just feel a lot of guilt on their behalf here. With the Knight of Swords, they still want to save the connection. They want to talk to you again, okay? But they just feel like you're not interested anymore. They're going to be reaching out to you if you haven't heard from them, all right? And then we have this Two of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I just feel like they're waiting for you and they're watching from a distance and they're waiting for the right time and they're um, hopeful that there will be a new beginning between the both of you. I have Sagittarius energy, Aquarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? And Leo as well. All right, so let's move on to Libra. Spirit, please talk to me about the sign of Libra. How does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about the sign of Libra? How does this person feel about the sign of Libra? How do they feel about Libra, please? Okay. Again, you know, this person that you're dealing with, they've got to go somewhere, all right? Um, with this Five of Pentacles energy, in order for them to feel better, they need to step outside of their comfort zone, all right? Um, a lot of this has to do with relocation is what I'm getting, Libra, okay? Somebody needs to move. Somebody needs to just change something up. Something needs to be switched around for this person to feel better about the situation, okay? Um, they have like a lot of abandonment issues, their needs aren't being met right now for some reason. I feel like they're not happy with their job primarily and they want another job. I feel that um, they don't talk to you about the issues that they're having at work because they don't want you to know about it. You know, they want you to feel like everything is all good. With the Knight of Wands energy, I feel that sometimes they're good and then other times they're not. And it's because of some sort of issue at work is what I'm getting here. They spend way too much time overthinking things. And that's why there could be some issues that you're having with them when it comes to this connection. We have Aries energy presenting itself here. And so, again, this person is very stubborn. Um, they want their way and they like things done in the manner that they say they need to be done. They don't like to budge. And so um, it makes it very difficult for you to work with them uh, with this type of attitude. But the reason why they're like that is because they're unhappy with something that needs to change in their life. All right, so let's move on to Scorpio. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Scorpio. How does this person that Scorpio think about currently feel about the sign of Scorpio. How does this person feel about the sign of Scorpio? How does this person currently feel about Scorpio, please? How does this person, okay. This person feels that you are very distant, okay? You have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, they feel that they need to have the strength right now. For some reason, there is a major challenge when it comes to something that the both of you are going through. They have a lot of support though, okay, Scorpio? So they are supported by people who are going to help them through this, all right? With the Four of Cups, your person is in their emotions and very sad right now, feeling alone and feeling left out, okay? And then we have this Three of Swords. Their heart is broken for some reason, okay? Um, 
doesn't have to be a third party, but I just feel like there's major disappointment here. But this person is trying their best to just be optimistic about what's going on right now. And they're trying to have faith. Okay. All right. So let's talk about Sagittarius. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Sagittarius. How does this person at Sagittarius thinks about, feel about Sag? How does this person feel about Sag? Okay, the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person feels that you left them. Okay, tell me more. We have the Ten of Swords. So something has ended here. There's a completion. We have the Empress, Taurus, Libra, Energy, and the Lover's card with the Moon. All right. And then we have this King of Cups. So they just feel like they could not anymore. Sagittarius. All right. The Ten of Swords. All right. So something is just over. Right. Because obviously this person cannot be revived. Um, this is the abandonment abandonment <laughs> what did i say <laughs> they feel abandoned anyway that's what i meant to say okay as you can see um with the five of pentacles and then the empress right so um knowing their worth okay with libra taurus and then the lover's card so this person yeah obviously they do love you um, but again, uh, they're choosing to keep that to themselves and just let it go. All right. So let's take a look at Capricorn. Spirit. Okay. Could be dealing with a fire sign Capricorn. All right. Tell me more about the sign of Capricorn. All right. We have even more fire. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Yeah, this person still wants the connection to work with you. This could be someone from your past, Capricorn. It's like they're offering something to you, but I'm not sure if you're accepting any offers at this time. Okay, I feel like your mind is on something else, okay? And they know that. We have the Seven of Swords energy, so they feel like they can't trust you. They feel that um, you are trying to get away with something behind their back. They feel like there's someone else around you that you're talking to someone new, uh, potentially someone who is younger, than you, but they still want the connection, all right? They feel like there would be victory if you would allow this connection to progress, but they feel like they're the only ones that are putting in all the work. All right. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Aquarius. Spirit, talk to me about... Whoa. What in the world? Okay, so Aquarius, you got somebody that's watching you. That was the page of swords that just fell to the ground. <laughs> okay, so I feel like um, this person, yeah, with the hermit energy, Virgo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo energy, even more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a whole lot of Taurus in your reading <laughs> okay um i feel that there's this discussion that's going to take place between you guys it just hasn't happened yet um not sure if you're open to it this person views you as long term okay someone that they could build with financially with the nine of pentacles um you could be single right now, Aquarius, and they really want to come together with you. They want an opportunity is what I'm getting here. If you're single, this person is going to be pursuing you and you're going to be talking to them pretty soon. But right now what they're doing is watching you, okay, with that Page of Swords energy. I feel like if you are in a connection with someone, then 
Um, there's higher levels of commitment coming here with this Three of Pentacles energy that speaks to marriage and um, gatherings and coming together. But uh, they feel like you are taking your time and as you should. Okay, so I just get this vibe of someone who also wants to make a lot of money with you. All right, and um, I feel that's something that attracts you even more to them. All right, so that's what I have for Aquarius. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the sign of Pisces. How does this person feel about the sign of Pisces, please? How does this person feel? Okay, we have Sagittarius energy coming out here. So this person wants to come see you. Okay, tell me more about the sign of Pisces. Tell me more. Yeah, a lot of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in these three cards. Okay, so, um, and then you are presenting yourself here. They still feel like you're changing though. Even though they're trying to make a move on you, there's something else that you're trying to pursue right now. You could be studying for something. You know, I just get work here. So it's like that's your goal and that's where your focus is. Spirit, please tell me more. Three cups here, okay? So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Four of Wands, and then the Hierophant with Taurus being present here. They're finding something very difficult, okay? Um, some of you guys are married. Some of you guys are not married, but I feel like this person wants more with you if you're single and right now you could be focused on work or you have a lot of options and you're thinking about your other options. And then if you guys are together, there's something big that's going to be taking place with the both of you in the future where um, it has to do with relocation. Okay. It's like, you guys are getting ready to move away or there's this big trip. You're going to be traveling or you're going to be a part of some sort of big gathering or festivity is what I'm getting here. Okay, so um, that's what I get. I want to thank you so much for watching. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. You can find all of that information in the description box or in the comment section. Thank you so much and take care.